In today's video, we're gonna show you how to get lower oil temperatures in your F80 M3 and F82 M4. Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to install Mishimoto's oil cooler in my F80 M3. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pull down the OEM one. We're gonna throw it on the table. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison, and then we'll show you how to install the new one. Now the removal process is very simple. The first thing we need to do is we need to get the skid plate off. If you watched our video, you'll know exactly how. Otherwise, we're gonna link it above. But basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna start by removing all of these little eight millimeters. Um, there's about 20 in total, but we need to remove this piece. We need to remove the skid plate and then also this piece. So with that, let's get started. So once you've removed all of the eight mils and then you remove those two 13s, the one over here and the one over here, that plate just slides out like you saw. Uh, as I mentioned before, if you need more detail on that, we have a detail on the process of removing and installing that down below. Once you have that out of the way, we're gonna start on the passenger side and there is a 10 millimeter nut that's going to be right here. Now, when you're loosening this, be careful because there is oil in here. The other thing, we would advise you to not do it with the engine hot because you will get burnt. So make sure you have some kind of container. We have our bucket here to collect any oil that's going to escape. Put it over there. Okay, once you have that done, you're going to just carefully wiggle this back and forth. Get our bucket ready to collect the oil. And we're just gonna let this drain for a minute. Now, while that's draining, I'm going to reach up and we're going to Loosen this other 13 mil right here. We'll completely remove it. And then we're gonna loosen these two over here. And that's gonna enable us to get more of this oil out of the old cooler. All right, and with that loose, I'm just gonna tilt this around and see if we can get some more oil out of here. And then once you've done that, you know, release this nut. If you want to do it with everything still mounted up, you can. And same thing as before. You're just going to take this and just carefully wiggle it back and forth and just start to slide it off. Okay. And then, as you'll notice, we have some of these mats here on my table, but you want to make sure that you have um, these up because there is still oil in here. I'm going to have to move out to dump it. Look at all this junk in here. So now that we have the oil cooler off, let's compare the two. So up top, we have our BMW OEM oil cooler, and then over here with the big M, we have the Mishimoto one. Um, the Mishimoto features a bar and plate design, which is going to not only help with cooling, but if you watched our video on the skid plate, it's kind of a bad area to have something sensitive. So it also adds a lot of durability. They've also added 10 millimeters to the size of this core, which is going to give you 46% more capacity, which is going to help cool your oil. Now, you may be thinking, this is larger. Do you need to add more oil? The answer is absolutely yes. When you add this, you need to add 0.44 quarts of extra oil in addition to any that you may have lost. The last thing that I wanna mention that I really like about this is that it's direct plug and play and they actually give you all the gaskets and little bolts that you'll need. So with that, let's transfer over the grommets to the new one and install the Mishimoto. Now we are ready to transfer over the little grommets. There's three, there's one over here, two over here. The way that you do this, is I just take my finger and I press out the middle portion. Looks just like that. Kind of just holds it in place. And you can squeeze this out. And I'll rock this up. Do the same thing. Just gonna throw it in there like that. Make sure it, it's sitting good. And then you take this metal piece and that goes in the middle to make sure it's not going anywhere. So we're gonna do the exact same thing over here. Okay. Hey, the next thing we need to do before we can get the new one up is take a pick tool 
And we're going to remove the old O-rings. And Mishimoto gives you some new ones. So you just take those, just pop them on. So there's one. We'll do the same thing with the other one. Take that off. Let's take our new one. Throw it on just like that. Now you may notice on the original oil cooler that it has a bolt that's built in. With the Mishimoto one, it actually gets new bolts. So you're going to just thread that directly in just like so. So at this time, before we do that, we're just gonna take the cooler and we're gonna put it up in place. And the nice thing is it's not full of oil, so it shouldn't dump oil on your head. I'm gonna hand thread one over here and I'm gonna hand thread one on the other side so I can not have to support the weight of it. I'll put this one in over here. So once you've done that, I like to start by just snugging them up by hand and then we're gonna torque them all down to 15 foot pound. Okay, so as we mentioned earlier, you are going to need about a half quart of oil. So now that we have our oil out, we're just going to lubricate the O-rings with some fresh oil and then you can just slide those in. Okay, so then we can take the bolts that are provided by Mishimoto hand thread them in, and then these get torqued down to 70 inch pound. Okay, and do the same on the other side. All right, good to go. Okay, now that that's done, we can put our skid plate back on, the two end pieces, and then we can top it off with oil. Now, one quick note, many of you know that I have the Turner um, skid plate under here that's made of aluminum. It's a little more rigid than the plastic one. What I had to do is I just had to remove the rear weather stripping from the rear to allow um, air access to those back fins. Without it, it was blocking them. And um, it's a little bit of a tight fit, but it definitely still works. At this part of the process, the Mishimoto oil cooler is fully installed. Now the last thing you need to do is add that extra oil. Keep in mind that not only today do you need to add about a half quart of oil, but you're going to have to do that every time you do an oil change. Now that the oil is properly topped off, everything is fully installed and ready to go and I'm looking forward to those lower oil temps. For links to any of the parts or tools we use in today's video, be sure to see the links down in the description. Once again, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.